We are in Istanbul, Turkey, and there's a lot of exciting different foods to eat. So if you're in Istanbul, Turkey, and you want to eat some of the classic Turkish foods, maybe this can be a guide, and we'll show you sort of some hits here in Istanbul. I am made to be free. Just outside the Grand Bazaar, we've come to Semu's Kebab Evi to try the famous Turkish Lahmacun, which is like a flatbread with some toppings. And we've never had it. It's one of Turkey's famous foods. And this apparently is a really good place. Something of note about this place is Trevor James, the popular food ranger that we've done some following food ranger tours in other cities of, has come here. He tried the Mardan Kebab here. I don't remember if he tried the Lakma tune or not, but that's what we're here for. So let's check it out. Going deep. So here's our Lakma tune. It's a bunch of ground meat slices on this thin bread. And then it comes with these fixins. And you roll it up. Let's give it a go. I'm just gonna add everything to start. To see if it's See what's good, some tomato, some onion, a little bit of lettuce, and parsley, I'm assuming, flat leaf parsley. Turkey seems to have uh, maintained a, a love of flat leaf parsley. They didn't leave it in the 80s with everybody else. And I'm just gonna roll this up. Which I think the way you're supposed to do it. If he comes out and yells at us for destroying his culture, you know. I really like the crispiness of the bread. And then all the spice and herbs and stuff in the filling. Of course the veggies add to it. It's really tasty. It's just like a snack. It's not like a huge meal. It's just like a little taster. For 100 lira, which right now means about three US dollars. Uh, it's not a bad little midday snack. I didn't start with having lemon. Only when uh, John and Stacy started making theirs did I add lemon. And it's, it really adds like a very pleasant acidity that makes it quite good. I've had That's my first, first bite here. I'm gonna say that again. <laughs> I had my first, first bite? bite here. <laughs> <laughs> I've had my first bite and it's really good. <laughs> so that was the famous Turkish lakmacun for like three bucks each, what everything. It was really good. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Concise. You know it's good when it's just concise. Yeah, for just like a light little snack and then having all the herbs and fillings and stuff in it. Um, yeah, it was very enjoyable. Very enjoyable. I think that that will not be our last Lakmachun. Come now on the edge of the Bosphorus to Karakoy Gulaglu, set perfectly the first time. Uh, and they're famous for baklava. Actually, this one is another Trevor James location, and it's actually where the food ranger met his partner. It's right here. So we're gonna get a little food ranger history and some tasty baklava. This is all the different kinds of baklava. Look at it. Let's buy a kilo of baklava. <laughs> a durum kind, it's wrapped up pistachios, or you get a little mixed. Oh, interesting, all right, let's get to it. I'm excited this is our first baklava in Turkey. So we got our baklava. We ended up getting a mixed plate and two teas. So it kind of looks like we got a chocolate baklava, some pistachio baklava, and a walnut baklava. Not exactly sure what the different kinds are, but they look really good. Which one are you going to try? I'm going to try this one. Oh, it's soaked in syrup and it's rolled in a pistachio. Yeah, this is my first bite of a baklava in Turkey. It's not as sweet as I imagined it was going to be. With how soaked it is in the syrup, it's not that sweet. And because of, maybe it's just the style, it's like not crispy at all. Uh, but it's got, I want more of it, but we're sharing a lot. <laughs> Um, try a different one. It's really good. Okay, okay, okay. Let me try this one. Okay, this at least I can get two bites out of. It's got pistachios on top and then it's this it's this kind. 
It's got like a floral quality to it. Again, it's not so crunchy. You get most of the crunch from the pistachio. I'm gonna try the chocolate one. <laughs> I've never had a chocolate one before. That's really good. It's crispy on top and softer on the bottom. Really good. Don't forget, I get half of that. I know, I'm gonna just... <laughs> okay, so she's trying the next one. Walnut. Walnut's really nice. I like walnut baklava. I've never had it before. That's really good. Okay, I'm gonna try this chocolate one. Stacy was so happy with. Very good. Oh. It almost reminds me of a donut. Mm. It is, it's crunchy on top. It's very sweet compared to this, some of the other ones we have, but it's really chocolatey. It's like a very strong chocolatey flavor. Mm, this might be like the best one. And with that, only two remain, the hedgehog and the dumpling. Stacy, which one are you gonna have first? Uh, maybe the dumpling. <laughs> this one has cheese on the inside. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, that's that's very interesting. I like the cheese. It kind of adds creaminess to the, cuts the sweetness a bit. So that's really good. I want to try this hedgehog one first. Look at this thing. Mm, maybe this one's the best one. We're just finishing our teas and Stacy. What was the best one? I like the chocolate one the best. And what was the second best one? The hedgehog looking one was very good. And then I think that the hedgehog one was the best and the chocolate one was second best. So those are undoubtedly the two best ones. So that was Karakoi Gulo Glue, where you get uh, baklava. They say it's maybe the, the place where it was invented. Our six baklava mix set with two teas, costs about 12 US dollars. It's not cheap, uh, but it's good. And we think the mix that's a good way where you could try a bunch. Some you're gonna love and some you're not gonna love. And so it, that's maybe that's part of the fun. Today for lunch, we're here at Durham's It's somewhere that Anthony Bourdain ate at, so that's kind of exciting. And we're gonna get Durham's, which is like a meat prep. So I got the Adana one, which is more of the ground meat that they kind of squish into a patty and then put it in the wrap. Tristan got the beef and lamb. How is it? It's really good. The meat is super flavorful. It's really good. And there's some like pickled veggies in there too. So this, uh, this one's mine. And I got the beef and lamb one. Wicked good. So we're lunch here each for each of these wraps was five bucks, five bucks US. Following our nice walking tour here in sort of the old part of Istanbul, we've come to Yeni Gerdes Pide to try Pide, the famous Turkish Pide, which is like kind of a pizza-esque bread bowl with cheese and fillings and toppings. It's like very famous in Turkey and we have to try it while we're here. So here's a pide. You get pide with sausage or you get pide with minced meat or just with cheese. All kinds of different pieces mixed, veggies and meats. Gotta get that sexy b-roll. <laughs> So these are the pide that we got. I got the minced meat one. This is Stacy's sausage one. Look at that. Oh, I like a little cheese bowl. It's too hot though. I can't try it yet. And then John got the mixed one, so it's kind of like the best of everything. Okay, Stace, you ready to burn your face? Stacy's first taste of a pide. <laughs> That was P-Day. That's really good. The, yeah, the bread is nice and chewy and crispy on the outside. Lots of cheese. Mm. How do you like P-Day? I really like P-Day. It's like a pizza crust bread. But it's not pizza. Uh, but it's like, it's just like freshly baked bread. 
like with cheese and meat and it's like really good. It's like really good and we're all really, really enjoying our pita. So with mine, it looks like it's crushed up meat and some spices and there's some chilies on a couple pieces and tomato. On Daisy's a little bit more like a pizza perhaps, these kind of sausages um, with the cheese. And on John, and on John's, look at that. Mm. <laughs> Just finishing up here right now, it was a delightful lunch. It was about six bucks for mine, about seven for Stacy's, and maybe eight for John's, and it was delightful, it was a big hit. We found this place on Google, just Google's maps, just looking around, seeing what was kind of be close to where we were, had P-Day good reviews. We highly recommend, you want some P-Day, you want some good P-Day, you're in the old part of Istanbul, you can come here, 10 out of 10. The next place we've come for our next meal is for dinner from this place here called Chehanger, Chehanger Mantisi. And they do manti, which is like a Turkish, they call it like a Turkish ravioli. And it's covered in like a yogurt sauce. I've never had it before. I've only ever seen people talk about it, but it looks super good. And this place comes sort of very highly reviewed. So let's check out Turkish Manti. This is what I was trying to say earlier. I think this is the community and then this is like kind of what it is, a Manti. Here are the Manti options. The special changer, crispy, and then maybe vegetarian and oh, frozen. So you can just buy some frozen ones. And then here, I guess you choose yourself. I didn't realize that Stacy pointed out. Yogurt and garlic, yogurt plain, and tomato paste sauce. Pro tip for you, John tried to get tea with his manti and she said he was an idiot. Yeah. <laughs> In very polite service way, if you are getting manti, you do not get John. <laughs> do not get tea with it. Get, to get a cold drink and then you have your tea afterwards. So here it looks like there's the the crispy mantis, of course, like the little crispy tortellinis. And then there's this yogurt sauce with, I don't know what this red sauce is, who even knows? The spices that are in the yogurt, I think, I don't know what that red one is, but the green stuff is mint and I think oregano. And here's my classic one. So yeah, it just looks like little raviolis with the yogurt sauce and all the herbs and the mystery red sauce. Let's try my first manti. It's like a really crispy, thick sort of dough. And then, I don't know what the feeling is. I can't really taste the feeling. The yogurt and the spices are really like dominating it. It's just like a little deep fried crispy. Good. Mm hmm. It's almost like it's good. I want one. Yeah, I want like, like really crispy, like. Oh, but it's meat inside. There you go. Okay, so I isolated one. I got one on its own away from this yogurt sauce. And it's almost like a. It's almost like a fried dumpling. Yeah. That's maybe the best way to describe it. Do you like it? I do like it. And here's Stacy trying her first manti. Yeah, a little perlini. The yogurt flavor is pretty overpowering. But yeah, there's a little bit of mint on there, I think. I don't know what the red sauce is either. So Stace, having both, crispy and soft, what do you think is the best ones? I prefer the soft because you can taste the meat on the inside better. Um, also, we've discovered the red part is like a little drizzle of tomato sauce. Whereas I prefer, I think, the crispy ones, even though you have to kind of isolate it away from the yogurt to taste the filling, um, I just like the experience of eating the crispy ones more. John. Yeah, they're crunchy like hash browns. They're crunchy <laughs> like hash browns. Yeah, I don't know. I think it's good. I'm not like, I'm not crazy about it. But having Turkish Manti for the first time, um, yeah, I'm not upset that I got it at all. Quite happy, quite pleased. And it was 250 Turkish Lira, which right now is like seven or eight bucks. Yeah. We are walking away from dinner right now. Overall, guys, dinner, good, bad, yeah. Manti, good. Just as a concept, it was Just good. I don't know if I'll get it again though. Yeah. Okay, well there it is. We're all sort of in agreement. Manti's good, um, but there's plenty of really, really great things and it's worth trying. Um, but it, I would say it's not a powerhouse of Turkish food here uh, that we've tried so far. 
Okay, so we found this place called Kipeter Kunefe Kapmer, and that's the kind of the thing. They do Kunefe and they do Kapmer. We had Kapmer once before, but we never had Kunefe, and it looks super interesting, and this place has really good reviews, so let's try Kunefe. We're gonna get the classic Kunefe, and then we're gonna get the Kapmer again, because it was very tasty. So here's the kunefe. Do we get like some kind of pole? Oh, kind of a little bit. <laughs> a long way to go. This this is the cat, and it's kind of like a um, cheese pistachio wrapped in like a phyllo, and I think that's it's like a butter on top. I assume. Okay, how's kunefe, guys? Cheesy? Yes, it's very cheesy and it's quite the outside is quite sweet. But they kind of counterbalance each other, I would say. The outside is really crispy, which is nice. And then you get the nice chew from the cheese. And that's always good with your little glass of milk. Gotta have the glass of milk. My first bite of kunefe. Like the shredded pastry, it is quite sweet and it's quite like saturated and soap. I ain't got much cheese, let me go for another one. It's a really mild cheese. It's not too strong, but there's like a decent amount in there. A little bit of pistachio on top. Stacy was right, the cheese and the, and like the sweetness and syrup of the, with the dough kind of balances each other out. It's interesting, it's good. It's good. It's unique. Maybe it's not the normal way. It's probably not. But John discovered that if you squeeze a little orange on the canepe, it adds like a nice dimension to it. Even though they just give you orange for like snacking. Like it was a, a pro gamer move. So the capper is pistachios. There's kind of like some kind of cream or cheese in it. And then more sweet butter syrup. And we were all kind of agreeing that we think we like it more, probably because of the nice pistachio flavor. Uh, and for me, I prefer that it's not as sweet as the canapé as well. So that was our delicious dessert here at Key Fitter, having canapé and having some cabmer with the uh, tea and coffee and all the accompaniments. It's really good with that little milk. And that's it for here. So that actually concludes our food tour here in Istanbul, where we tried a whole bunch of foods. And actually, to be quite honest, they've all been fantastic. I think Turkey is one of those countries where you can pretty much just stop anywhere and it's gonna be good. The food culture here is, I'm gonna say robust. It's a robust food culture where they seem to really care. Everywhere seems to put in an effort and you can kind of just pick a place if it looks good and it will be. Of course, use Google and do some investigations and use our videos. And if you go to these places, tell them it's because you saw our beautiful faces eating there. But hopefully if you're in Istanbul, you can find some really good spots and try these out and have an enjoyable food time like we have here.